5 Amazing Photos of People Escaping Disasters Number 5 In 1991, photographer Albert Garcia captured the image of a truck speeding away from the eruption of Mount Pinatubo. It's the second largest volcanic blast of the 20th century, ejecting over 10 billion tons of magma and enough sulfur dioxide to form a haze of sulfuric acid that covered the entire earth and could be seen from space. At least 847 people were found dead, mostly because of the coinciding typhoon combined with the volcanic ash that made the roofs collapse. Number 4 David Reidevik, a Swedish terrorist, photographed the second wave of the 2004 tsunami hitting the Aonang beach in Thailand. Tourists and locals were caught in the middle of the beach, but Rydovic reported that all the people in the image survived despite being almost hit by a huge wave behind them. Unfortunately, more than 200 people, mostly the ones near the town of Aonang, were not so lucky. The wave measured in some places the height of 24 meters. A total of 230,000 people died during the tsunami and 50,000 were reported missing. Number 3. Tim Holmes, an Australian grandfather, took this photo of his family fleeing into the sea after a fire started in the forest near the Tasmanian town of Dunalay. The family took shelter under a pyre while more than 49,000 acres and 170 buildings were destroyed by the raging wildfire. Holm described the situation as, there was so much smoke and ember, there was only about 200 to 300 millimeters of air. After a few hours in the water, Holmes managed to get a boat for his family and they managed to flee from the smoldering coast. Number 2. In 1975, Hubert van Es, a Dutch journalist, took this photo of South Vietnamese citizens desperately trying to board the last CIA helicopter leaving during the evacuation. While the North Vietnamese army was approaching, CIA burned all the US and CIA documents. The USA launched the Operation Frequent Wind, which is the largest helicopter extraction in history in order to rescue its personnel. Hubert van Es reported that the helicopter could not get all the people on the roof, so it took off with 12 or 14 on board. Number 1. Max Desfer took this photo in 1950 of refugees from Pyongyang climbing across this shattered bridge over the Taidong River in order to escape the communist city. The US Army, under the United Nations command, had suffered a defeat in the Korean War after the Chinese offensive which sent them 190 kilometers away. After the United Nations ordered withdrawal, thousands of people from Pyongyang fled from the advance of Chinese troops. Enjoying our videos? Make sure to click on the subscribe button in the top right corner. Share this video with your friends and help us grow. Check out our Facebook and Twitter pages by clicking on these logos.